Hey guys, uh, sorry for the delay. We're just trying to run through this case pretty quickly here. So um, I have Marcin Kobler, who's going to be one of our fellows next year, uh, to introduce this case. All right, so we're performing uh, MAA and mapping prior to plan CERTEX 190 uh, embolization uh, of the liver. We have a 78 year old male with colorectal cancer and multifocal liver mets measuring up to 8 centimeters. He was diagnosed with colorectal cancer in 2012 and he status was hemicolectomy. He's progressed on systemic therapy. He also has a history of PAD and hypertension. His labs include uh, albumin of 4.3, T billy of 1.7, INR of 1.0, platelets 131, and a CEA of 3.9. Next slide. Contrast enhanced CT showing multiple uh, hepatic metastasis. We also note uh, off of the aorta, the C lag and SMA come off a uh, very smooth angle when approached from above. Next slide. Uh, so in summary, of a 78-year-old male with colorectal cancer, metastatic to the liver, numerous bile over hepatic lesions. His therapeutic options include chemotherapy, bland and chemoembolization, as well as Y90 radioembolization. So, you know, our original plan was to come here and do a, a mapping for, for Sirtax for resin uh, to probably take the GDA right gastric. So I'll show you this first run here. This is the celiac run here. Uh, yep, there we go. Sorry, uh, should go. Okay, it doesn't want to... All right, here, I'm going to just... So you can see, not a big GDA, pretty sizable right gastric coming off just, just below the left hepatic artery and then this huge arterial portal shunt off of whatever's going on in the left lobe of his liver. So um, the first thing we're going to do in, in reality is we're going to actually take the right gastric because I think that's going to be pretty close if we do end up having to treat segment four or treat the, the left, um, we, we may, may end up being an issue. So we were able to catheterize this. It took a little work. The, you know, with the, we're, what we're planning to use uh, I have to stick out a long wire here. So we actually have, I think Boston Scientific just came out with their 200 and for some reason 215 uh, centimeter length fathom. So that's what we're using here in a, in a blue prograde. So high flow prograde. Um, so we're in the right gastric now. And so we're going to go ahead and embolize it. Take, take this one here. So what we're going to use is actually a pod uh, from Penumbra. It's probably, a, we're going to use a four. It might be a little big. Um, it's rated for, I think, a three and a quarter size vessel is sort of the minimum. It's probably a little bit on the big side, but we're going to go and see if we can push it. Yeah, so you can see it's going to spaghettify here because it's a little, probably a little too big. Oh, and it's going to push us out. Let's see if I can get this thing to work. Yeah, this may not actually work. Uh, huh. So I'm going to try and see if I can anchor it a little further out, but it's going to just prolapse me, I think. This thing's too stiff. All right. Uh, well, it was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see if we can get it. Not really. Nah, it's not going to go. Yeah. This is... All right. Yeah, I think it's probably too big. It was sort of a push anyway to try to get this pod to, to form in here. All right. Do you have the, the plastic piece? You ditched it? That's good. Okay. So we're going to take this one out. So we're going to try something else. So we're going to try a different coil here. So we have actually uh, Terumo's... Uh, CX coil, so that's what we're going to use next here. Um, um, so anyways, I don't know if you guys can see this. This sort of has an electrolytic detach detachment from Terumo. It's pretty soft, um, so it's good. Press the little button. So it should be detached. And it's detached. All right, can we get another one? Another three, eight. Uh, it depends. I mean, here I'm not as worried about reflux. Obviously, especially from the left side, the, the flow is going to go pretty fast into whatever this, you know, whatever's going on over there. So I'm not as worried as I would be in, say, another situation. So again, well, I think she gave us a shorter one. All right. So again, these ones have uh, the hydrogel on the, on the inside. So they eventually uh, expand a little bit, swell. Um, so I'm not going to really force the issue here and see it actually occlude. It should actually occlude pretty well here. Uh, that should be enough. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Okay. Raul, I think this is great. I just want to make a comment on what we do. Yeah. Um, do we, we, we typically use a, a, a 420. Uh, yeah, do we have a... A 420, yeah. and then we use a, a shorter uh, 3 or 4 13 to pack it up, like in more 
uh, using one to work as a framing coil. Yeah. And the other one just to fill up the, the inner space. And as you pointed out well, and just wait a few them. minutes, close everything. Yeah. Two coils typically, using those two, yeah, one the 30, 20, exactly. the other one 13 is enough to close. Yeah. So we're going to try something here just because we have, happen to have it here. Th they have these unshaped uh, pod packing coils. They're basically just long, unshaped coil, just really soft. So we're going to see if we can just pack that in here. Is that the J? Yeah, the J coil, exactly. <laughs> It's sort of the same idea, what Marcello is talking about, basically to create a backstop and then um, uh, sort of push it in, or pack it behind, sorry. A filler. Yep. So we'll see if this works. Okay. I'm not sure. It's sort of a tenuous spot. The left hepatic artery is huge, so it's making it a little bit tricky. Again, don't bend it. Okay. All right. We're going to put this packing coil in here quickly for two seconds here and see if it packs. Sounds good. Yeah, you can see actually the pod packing coil is actually packing quite nicely. Oop, well, let's see if it keeps going. It. Ooh, it's going to be close, huh? Oop, 